of the things we know our ancestors did in the, in the Paleolithic, from 40,000 years ago all the way down to the end of the Paleolithic, was to make art and to make uh, paintings. And we know that because we've got lots of sites, caves and rock shelters, where they carried out paintings on the walls, famous pictures of animals and other items from the environment, as well as very strange abstract symbols that we can't understand now. But we know what they were using to make those pictures. Here, Corey has made some pigments, some different coloured paints out of natural materials. So she's made black paint out of charcoal, which is mixed with some animal fat to make it pasty. She's made some chalk, some white paint out of chalk mixed with water. And the red paint is made with ochre, which is iron oxide. It's a kind of mineral you can find very easily, and it's sometimes orange, sometimes yellow, sometimes quite red. And these are the three main colours that we see being used in, in rock art, black, white and red. Now, Corey's made a paintbrush out of a piece of stick by chewing the end of the stick and making it into bristles, and she's now doing an outline of an animal. Clint is using the white uh, to cover the back of this skin here, which is a deer skin, and create a white background. Now, these different minerals were used for other things too. Uh, ochre is also a good insect repellent, uh, and it can be a good preservative. So sometimes these different chemicals were rubbed onto skins to preserve them, as well as being used to paint them. But a lot of what they would have produced, we've lost, because they didn't only decorate cave walls, but they almost certainly decorated their own tents and also their own bodies with body art too. And of course, we don't have that today but we do have some remarkable artwork from the famous caves of Western Europe and also increasingly from other parts of the world as well. And of course, many populations in the world today still use these kinds of pigments to decorate the environments in which they live. Another important thing about the use of charcoal for the cave art and rock art is that charcoal can be dated. Unlike the red pigment and the white pigment, which are made out of minerals, the charcoal has carbon in it, which means that it can be used for radiocarbon dating. Sometimes the cave artists used manganese dioxide, which is a mineral, and we can't date that. But when they used charcoal, we can sometimes take samples for radiocarbon dating and find out exactly how old the charcoal was that was used for making the art. And the oldest examples we have at the moment date to more than 30,000 years ago.